Uh, greetings and welcome to the third, that makes it a trilogy, episode of Channel 7 Horizon Online News. It's February 25, and I'm Edmund Griddles. Now that you, dear viewer, have been with us three whole episodes, I think it's only fair to warn you that the gloves are officially off. We here at Chesevenhun will no longer play nice with the news stories that we bring you. No, from now on you'll be getting nothing but the cold, blunt truth from us, unfettered and unapologetic. We want you to know that we mean business, and it's game time all the time, every time here at Chesevenhun. But first, a picture of a kitten wearing a sweater. Administration officials for President Obama said yesterday that Obama plans to have all U.S. combat troops out of Iraq by August 2010 or 19 months from now. This would still leave somewhere between 30,000 and 50,000 troops in Iraq to train Iraq security forces, as well as other military non-combatant thingies. Whatever that might be. Either way, these troops are expected to be removed by December 2011, in a scene that is expected to be not unlike that last episode of MASH, where everybody hugs, cries, and Alan Alda rides a helicopter off into the sky, never to grace a foreign land with his subtle wit and endless shenanigans. Hmm, shenanigans. A NASA satellite crashed to Earth just three minutes after it had launched yesterday morning from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The satellite, called the Orbiting Carbon Observatory, was a project eight years and $273 million in the making which makes the accident especially disappointing to the side. Oh, ah, what is that? Oh, Mr. Griddles. Oh. That two-dimensional image that we project on the screen so the viewers know what you're saying when nobody else does. Is, is it vicious? It looks vicious. It's not vicious. It's just an image overlaid onto the screen. How long has it been here? Has it been here long? It, since the beginning of the story, we're trying to get more technological with this kind of thing. Oh, I didn't even notice it. Uh, All right, okay, I'm, I'm ready. S seriously, seriously. A new government report states that health care costs per person are expected to top $8,000 this year. Up about $350 from 2008. The report also states that if trends continue, health care costs could top $13,000 per person per year. Also, a separate report from the Kaiser Family Foundation found that the number of uninsured people in this country is now around 48 million. There's really no joke for that. I mean, that's just really sad. Okay, that's not even fair. No, 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 you know there's no joke. Don't, don't play with me. You better watch yourself, you- In case you missed them, the 81st Oscar Award Show was last Sunday, hosted by X-Man Hugh Jackman. The biggest winner of the night was the film Slumdog Millionaire, which carried a third of the awards, eight out of 24, including Best Picture. Sean Penn won Best Actor for the film Milk, which is apparently not about the stuff that comes out of cows, which makes it all that less exciting. And Kate Winslet won Best Actress for the film The Reader, which is apparently about someone who reads a book. The irony of this is that the film is actually an adaptation of a book, about somebody reading a book. Unfortunately, the novelization of the movie was canceled due to the fact that it would have been a, a book about a person reading a book from a movie about a person reading a book, adapted from a book about a person reading a book. And that's just stupid. Well, speaking of Oscars, we are privileged to have arranged for Hugh Jackman, the host of last Sunday's Oscars, to have a phone interview with Chesevenhun. Right now. Right now. Come on. Right. Oh! Two Jackman. Oh. Why, it's Hugh Jackman, dear viewers. How can you tell? Well, by your voice and the fact that you were supposed to call. Hey, hey, it's me. Yes, it is, and we're very privileged to have... Maybe it's time for us to move on. 
I, I agree. Now, now, what was it like hosting the 81st and- Nice suit. What? Nice suit. Oh. Um, thanks. Uh, well, okay, what was it like hosting the Oscars? Make it fast. All right, uh, well, what was it like? I mean, let's just talk about it. I mean, how is it? The whole world out there is full of people that hate and fear you. Well, I can certainly understand that. I mean, I get... Just think about what I said, bro. What? Uh... Huh. Uh, and now for your weather. It's the weather! It's, uh, hey, welcome to the weather uh, on the ethnocentric weather map. And uh, today the weather is, you know, I never noticed it, but Detroit is a large word on this map. It's like second largest to Chicago and United States. What is Detroit? I mean, Chicago's windy, but Detroit? Ah. Uh, anyways, um, it's time for our three day, five day weather forecast. Be there with monster trucks and maybe some rain. And, um, I love weather. And it's yay weather. Awesome. Uh, bye. And for a bit more local news, there are no birthdays for today or tomorrow, but on Friday, happy birthday to Jordan Bontrager and Tom Tenefoss. On Saturday, happy birthday to Daniel Adams, Rose Clark, and Tyler Crable. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Kate Couch. Tonight at 7 o'clock is Campus Worship, which will be Act 1 of Godspell, so please be prompt. Also, Godspell will be performing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so if you haven't bought your tickets yet, you probably should. Baseball plays at Tabor today and home against Hastings on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Softball plays today at Cloud County. Intermurals are hosting the first annual honorary Mitch Stutzman racquetball tournament. This is in response to Mitch destroying his knee on these very same racquetball courts last year. Sign up is in Moodle. And that's all we have for Channel 7 Horizon Online News. Until next time, uh... Keep passing all your classes and stay away from ill-tempered animals.